Hello, Zebstrika Army. My name is Jacob, as always, and I am your coach of the Green Bay Pikachus. And this is week number three in the NPCC, the National Pokemon Competitive Conference, in which we're awaiting our battle versus the Norwich Skitty and their coach, Don Fanatic. His links will be in the description down below for his Twitter and YouTube channel. I highly recommend checking him out. He makes great competitive content. I really love him as a battler. He's cool. He's chill. He's nice. Everything you pretty much asked for. Probably a lot like ourselves, actually. Anyway, besides the fact this is our team, I'm just going to go over it. No team builder again because I was super busy. I was watching Alex's animals. Done doing that. As you can see, I'm back home in my own home. The convenience of my own home, which is amazing. I love it, actually. Uh, we're going to go over the team really quick. If you guys want to see a detailed EV spread, that will be in the paste bin down below. So there you have it. Running Timid, Life Orb, Latias, just outspeed, Manaphy, Thunderbolt for Skarmory, um, and Metagross, I guess. A Psy Shock for the Needle King, because I don't want to drop a Draco, even though I think Draco would kill. Psy Shock doesn't make our special attack go minus two. And uh, we can live any one hit from Needle King. Barring Adamant, uh, Scarf, Crit, Ice Punch, or Crit, Sucker Punch. Uh, it has to get a crit in order to knock out our Latias. So there's that. It has to crit. So as long as you don't crit with Needle King in any way, shape, or form, Latias comes in uh, and knocks it out. We can actually live on uh, Scarfed Ice Beam crit. So just of note. And we after Life or Recoil even too. So that's nice. So Sasha Shock there is to just Oko it. Uh, also, we have a hard-hitting Life Orb to Rakion because it does really well. We have Protect to Scout for the Needle King. So we're going to protect on Needle King no matter what. If he goes to Earth Power and stays in, more than likely he is Choice Scarf and will switch into Latias. Basically Latias because I don't want anything else to take any damage. But yeah, so there's that. Also, we have Earthquake to and Oko the Needle King. Uh, I prepped a lot for Needle King. His team is going to be on the screen probably under me for now. Just as a note, just something to note. It'll just be like under me, I guess. So there's that. Um... Just like it normally was for our team builders. But then we have uh, Thick Fat, Focus Sad, Jolly Mammoth Swine. Um, enough speed to outspeed uh, Metagross. So there's that. I keep saying that. Uh, we have Endeavor because it's kind of like the Fear Rattata set. So if his Stealth Rocks aren't up, if our Focus Sash is intact, we can live because of the Focus Sash from the Mana Feet. Go Endeavor. Ice Shard will then proceed to knock it out. It goes for his Metagross as well. Uh, we can out-prioritize him with Bullet Punch. We can Endeavor him. If it's like a Choice Scarf variant, we can click Endeavor and do it that way. Ice Shard will then knock it out. Um, a lot of things can, can actually do that, which is really, really nice. Uh, Jolteon, same thing goes for Jolteon. Uh, well, we can live any hit, though, and Earthquake will knock it out. So, yeah, there's that. I keep saying that. I don't know why. But yeah, uh, just does what it needs to do. I need to be careful. If he brings Mega Sceptile, I have to leave Mamoswine. I don't care if Sash is intact or not. We need Ice Shard to kill Mega Sceptile. I wouldn't be surprised if you run Substitute Mega Sceptile um, at all. I wouldn't be surprised. And next up, we got Brienne, the Milotic. Uh, I'm running Whirlpool to trap things like the Metagross, to trap things like the Mantine. Or Mantine. Uh, Miltank or Manaphy, I think I like almost, well I said Mantine, that doesn't make sense, but I'm trapping those things uh, because it'll actually help our other team members do better if those things are neutered. If it's sub Manaphy, I'm kind of afraid, sub Calmine Manaphy or sub Calmine Mespirit, that, those could be problematic Pokemon and I'm not looking forward to facing them. Uh, we have enough speed to uh, outspeed an Adamant Metagross uh, because I feel like Adamant's more than likely than Jolly because... Why would he run Jolly when he really can't outspeed Mamoswine anyway? There's no sense. Yeah, he's got Bullet Punch, but he probably knows Bullet Punch can't Oko uh, Mamoswine. And yeah, so there, I'm sure he's running Adamant, probably with enough speed just to outspeed like... What? Like, we don't... Our, our speed tiers are really messed up, so probably that. Uh, then we have that. We have Toxic Recover Scald. Scald for Burning, obviously, best move in the game. Toxic just to whittle things down. Yeah, he's got Heal Ball User in Togetic and or my uh, Miltank. But still, I'm pretty sure Miltank's going to come. Uh, the six members I'm anticipating him bringing are as followed. And I will circle them on the little layout thing. Um, Needle King, Metagross, 
Skarmory, Miltank, Manaphy, and either Cafagrigus and or Mespear. One of those two, I don't know what one, but one of those two he will bring. And then we have a Salt Vest uh, Amoongus to better try to take on the Manaphy. It's going to be hard. If he reveals sub, I'm switching directly Latias because we have to break that sub as soon as possible in order for us to do well. Um, because Psyshock will hit on the defensive side, so that's nice. Then we have this. Just try to take on his entire team better. Aside from the Metagross, I'm pretty sure he's not going to bring Togetic or Mega Sceptile. Uh, he could bring Entei, but the ones I know he's not going to bring are uh, Mega Sceptile because it just loses the Mamoswine. Hard wall. It just dies. And then uh, the Togetic because it dies to so many things. It dies to Stone Edge. It dies to Ice Crush had I brought it. Iron Head. It, it just doesn't do well against my team. He won't bring Togetic. I'm positive. Mega Sceptile is more, than li more likely than Togetic, but I doubt it. And then we have our win condition. Just like Aaron Rodgers shreds through opposing defenses, Bisharp shreds through opposing teams. Yeah, you might be wondering, where's the Iron Head? He's got a fairy. We don't need it. We don't want it. We don't need it or want it. Uh, Dark Stab is the only thing we want because I need Knock Off because it's so powerful and it's one of the best moves behind Scald in the game. Sucker Punch behind a sub forces them to attack us. So therefore we can Sucker Punch, get the priority, and our sub suit still intact if we get plus two. And the Pokemon that we can set up on are Skarmory for sure. If it doesn't have Whirlwind. Um, if he's afraid of this set, he'll bring Whirlwind. But if he doesn't think of this set, if he doesn't think Bisharp's too big of a problem, he won't bring Whirlwind. Because uh, he knows that I wouldn't set up Sword Stance with Terrakion. Because, for one, Skarmory can just beat it 1v1. And it's got Sturdy. And two, like, he'll just beat me. I wouldn't stay in on that anyway. So therefore, we will switch in on Skarmory with Bisharp if we need to. I hope he tries to survive this, but we'll get behind a substitute, set up an SD, and to a 52 HP invested mana fee, which I think he's going to run. Because I know he's going to run enough speed to outspeed my Dermanitan with his mana fee. Unless he'll that, or he'll be defensive. So, well, plus two, knockoff kills it. Uh, if we're behind a sub, we're in really good shape, because he's got to have to break the sub with anything. Needle King will knock out with a Sucker Punch. Metagross, we can knock out with a Sucker Punch. Because he's forced to break subs. I am weary of Hammer Arm, Metagross, and like Brick Break, Miltank, but I'm not staying in on those with Mil uh, Bisharp. I will switch into Milotic uh, to scout for those first before we do that. And or Latias. More than likely uh, Milotic just because if he's got Body Slam or something. I don't want to risk it. Unless I'm behind a sub, then I'll clearly stay in. There's no doubt in me not staying in for that. I'm kind of weary about Agility, Weakness Policy, Metagross, but... If he brings that, well, if he brings that, and we probably get swept, unless we have, well, no, we don't get swept because of Bisharp, but yeah, I needed Bisharp this week, so there's that. There's our team. We're going to battle them right now, so we're going to transition to that. All right, guys, we're just waiting the anticipation of the battle. This battle is very, very important to us in the long run. Uh, as for the playoffs, too, I know it's early, it's week three, but there are nine weeks. Two teams from each division, respectively, make the playoffs. So, therefore, this is a must-win for us, as it is a must-win for Don. I'm bringing my A game, as I'm sure he'll bring his A game. So, if you guys are pumped up for this match, make sure you put the hashtag MVP Most Valuable Pokemon. Who is our going to be our most valuable Pokemon in this battle? I'm just going to say good luck. But more importantly, have fun, Don. Portently, have fun. Alright, let's go. We're just waiting. I'll just transition until we get the battle started. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen of Strike Army. The battle is about to commence. And we will be doing our darndest to win... The battle music does not matter. We're using the battle box. Everything's level 50. We're good to go. Obviously, Bisharp will go down to um, 50. We got our handy-dandy pen to write down his team and cross off things that have fainted. 
So my mind doesn't forget, because sometimes I just have a habit of forgetting things that I shouldn't forget. But we're going to do our best. Let's see what's going to go on. He's about to show us his team. Here we go. He's bringing the Metagross. Skarmory. Manaphy. I'm not surprised by anything. Uh, Entei. No Needle King. I'm awesome. I'm so happy he didn't bring Needle King. That means Amoongus lost his Steptile and Jolteon. So the biggest thing that we need to get rid of in order for us to do well is... Okay, so Amoongus lost his Steptile just in case uh, our Mammoth Swine goes down. Um, okay, so I really am looking forward to getting our Stealth Rock up right from the start. I really want to. But I'm just going to lead straight with uh, Latias. Uh, because it does actually really well against his team. If he wants, he can lead with his Mega Sceptile. I don't mind. Um, he does have Volt Absorb Jolteon. So that is definitely a thing. Okay. Um, do I want to lead Latias for sure? Uh... The Scarfers could potentially be Metagross or Entei, but we're just going to go into it like this. We're going to lead Latias and see what happens. I'm really happy to bring Needle King. That's awesome. Latias should probably be able to do decently well then. Uh, I'm not afraid of any Calm Mind users aside from Anaphy. Um, Entei is fine. I mean, Latias, he leads Jolteon. I am so very tempted to just drop a Draco on anything. Um, the problem with this is, he could go into Metagross, and I'm not liking that too much. Metagross is a big problem. I'm not sure if he's expert belt or not, but we're going to play it safe. I don't want Latias to take too much damage, because it does really well against his team. I don't want to take a Shadow Ball or an HP Ice, we're going to go into Moongus. If he's HP I specs, we'll just get the recovery, so he's going to Volt Switch. I wanted to play it safe. He's probably going to go into Metagross now. Fire off a Zen Headbutt. He's Life Orb. Okay, so that's good. And also, we have a um, HP number divisible by 3, so 219 divisible by 3. He goes to Entei, actually. We could go in to our Milotic. I think that's actually a pretty good play. However, I want to see how much a Stone Edge is going to do from a Bandit Entei to our Milotic spread. Just because I'm curious. We have 184. Or no, oh, not 184. Come on. I just got to check. Because I want to be careful rather than not. Stone Edge has a chance to 2-it KO us. But if he can get a burn, that'd actually be kind of nice. So we're just going to go into Milotic. So we're going to go Metagross because that is actually a bigger threat. He's going to Toxic, okay. So what I want to do here is I want a Whirlpool to get chip damage. And this is actually good that we got toxic. I'm going to actually Whirlpool right now. I doubt he's weakness policy. Uh, whatever he goes into, I am fine with. He goes to Lil Blue's Manaphy, so we're going to be getting... This is going to do like next to nothing. But what this allows us to do is allows us to get that extra eighth of his health. He has leftovers, so he could be sub call mine. I'm glad we got the Whirlpool off right now. I'm really happy. Uh, we're fine poison damage, because we can recover off later. So, I'm going to go into Latias, because I have to, I feel. I feel that's our only way. Right now, he doesn't have Stealth Rock up. So, if it comes down to it, we're good. Um, actually... Since he doesn't have Stealth Rock up, 
the better play would actually be to go into the Moongus. Because unless he's modest, he can't kill us with a plus three Ice Beam. And we know he's leftovers, not that. So we're going to go into Amoongus. He's going to Skull, that's fine. And where I, he probably knows that we're a Salt Fest at this point. So what I'm going to do is actually... I could double. I'm going to double actually. Because I think Skarmory's coming in. And that allows us... Doesn't that just allow us to set up? Well, you get an Ice Beam. That could be bad. I don't think he's going to want to stay in here. <sighs> yeah, we're going to go in Bisharp. This is very risky. This early in the battle. Let me let me think about this. I, I be, he's not going to Scald again. He's not. He's probably going Skarmory. Or Metagross. Either one I'm cool with. Yeah. Because then we can scout for the hammer arm. Maiden? Yes! This is what we wanted, guys. This is what we wanted. So now we get behind a substitute. If he wants to set up rocks, be my guest. I am more than okay with him setting up rocks here. Because I want to scout this Skarmory out. I predicted correctly. Man, my heart's beating right now. This is a big fight feel. We gotta be like John Cena. Kick out it too. Bisharp is a huge threat to his team. Even more so behind a substitute. He switches out, so that means we automatically get a knockoff off, and he goes into Manaphy, so we get to knock off that thing's leftovers, which is very important to me. That tells me I don't think he's got anything for us. Uh, I'm knocking out off that thing's leftovers, because it is by far our best play. And that thing without, um, uh, what is it called? That thing without uh, uh, recovery is going to be awesome. We're faster. He's defensive. He's defensive. That's awesome. That's fantastic to know that he is defensive. So now, I don't think he's got... Hmm. Okay, so we're fine. No more uh, recovery unless he's... Rain Dance uh, rest with Manaphy. He doesn't have Calm Mind, that means pro. Well, we've only seen Skull. Is Amoongus a safe switch in? I want to say yes, it is. I wish we had HP Fire. I kind of regret not having that, but Foul Play could be nice on the Metagross. I think our best switch in actually is our Latias because it pressures his team it really does it pressures his team so we're gonna go Latias because I don't think he's got Ice Beam and the fact that we're faster than the Manaphy is very important I'm surprised he didn't run enough speed to outspeed Bisharp if he burns us I'm okay with this nope he doesn't get a burn uh, I just fire off a Thunderbolt because I have no reason not to. Ice Beam be being from a defensive Manaphy will not be doing all that much. If he goes to Skarmory, that's a mistake. He goes, he goes Skarmory, yes! Oh, get bopped with that Thunderbolt. That is not specially defensive. Okay, I have zero reason to not drop a Draco here. Um, but actually, I'm going to go Thunderbolt again. Only because I'm pretty sure the switch into Metagross is coming. So, in this situation, I don't think he'd fought her off. Actually, he would fought her off his Skarmory. We have no reason to not click Thunderbolt here. He's probably click. I wanted to predict uh, Metagross. I really did. Oh, it's not. He goes on Jolteon, which is fine. I, I don't mind. I, I guess I... 
that could have been a good prediction we could have gone in that but like I said we have zero reason to not click Amoongus here uh, he could click Volt Switch or Hidden Power Grass predicting Mamoswine but will he will he really nah HPRs won't do that much to our Amoongus probably like 25 at the most to our spread so we have to click this again and then I'm doubling right back on the Latias. Believe me, I wanted to click Draco so badly. I guess I should have. I should have just dropped a Draco on him. He's going to Shadow Ball. Mm -mm. Nope. That's going to do zero. This just does nothing. He's going to probably Volt Switch. So, what we do... Either that, he's probably not going to take it. So we're going into Mammoth Swine here. But we can't kill that. We can't pressure Skarmory. So we're actually going to go Terrakion. Because that pressures him. He didn't switch. He Volt switched. I know it. Uh, either out of the HP Ices, that's fine too. Um, now we can scout things out. Uh, that does a lot. But he doesn't allow his Skarmory to roost. Which is great for us. Doesn't allow his Skarmory to roost. If we can get Stealth Rock up, we're going to be in really good shape. He goes into Met Metagross for sure. Yeah. Um, so, Bullet Punch is more than likely coming. We have Rocky Helmet Milotic. We're going into it right now. We are for sure going into Milotic because I wanted to get poisoned, believe it or not, with Milotic. That's what I wanted to do. That was my goal was to get poisoned with this thing because it's going to do nothing. And now we can Roost. Or Bruce, recover. And we get chip damage on Metagross. Chip damage. Explosion will not kill us. So I'm clicking recover because we need... I could click Whirlpool again, actually. But if he goes Sceptile, that'd be a bad play. So we're going to recover just to maintain longevity. This has been a fun battle so far, Don. It's been 11 minutes and not a single Pokemon has fainted yet. It is going to come down to the wire. It is going to come down to the damn wire, dude. He's probably going uh, Manaphy again. He's got to, yeah. He essentially has to. Where uh, we're just going to recover, maintain our Milotic's health. Yeah, we'll be at like maybe 180 or so, give or take. Which is fine by me. Yeah, we're at some 177. We're still at good health. Um, I feel he's going to predict the switch in a lot of ass here. Um, I'm not switching Bisharp. That's just a terrible play. Actually, what we could do here is Toxic, right? And really whittle down Manaphy. Is that the correct play? I feel at this point he's Rest, Rain Dance, Skull. And like, he wouldn't have Toxic on that. Yeah, I'm just going to Toxic that, actually, to whittle that thing down even more. We are faster with this because we are faster with Bisharp, so that's good knowledge to know. He's going to Ice Beam predicting Latias, so that was our gr that was our, uh, that was our opportunity to switch in like that. So, what are we at right now? 127. So, I have to switch out at this point, otherwise we're going to be taking way too much damage. And he's probably going to switch out himself. My best switch here is probably the Amoongus because we are Assault Vest. If he gets a freeze, he gets a freeze. There's not a whole lot we can honestly do about that. He's going to Rain Dance and heal that with Hydration. So I wanted to see more of his set. I wanted to see if he was the Rain Dance set, which I anticipated and in which he was. So he's more than likely not going to stay in here. So this gives me an opportunity to actually heal up with my Lodic again. So he's defensive Rain Dance again. I really want to get the Stealth Rock up. I really do for that Entei. I'm going to switch into my Lodic here. As he switches into Skarmory more than likely. Yep. And therefore he does not have a switch in. He, I, I, I refuse. I refuse to let Skarmory set up rocks. I refuse to let no I just refuse uh, he's got he can't switch into that he can't he's got to switch out uh, more than likely 
probably into his Sceptile, as that's the only thing I really see him being able to switch into. I really want to set up rocks, but I'm scalding. He just lets it die. That's great. That's fantastic. He lives! Are you joking? He must be specially defensive. That's... That's frustrating, guys. Was that a min? Wow. That's that's very frustrating. Okay. He probably gets rocks up now. I gotta re click recover now. I thought for sure we were knocking out because it was in the rain. He ran specially defensive Skarmory, really. Okay, I'm gonna go straight into Bisharp after this and get behind a sub again. He roosts again. That's fine. I needed to heal my Lodic to a degree better than it was when it came in. I really thought for sure we were knocking that damn Skarmory out. Oh man. Uh, we're going Bisharp. It can't touch Bisharp. He's probably setting up rocks here now. But that's okay. Um, okay, we can't remove those. So unfortunately... Like, we have nothing weak to it, so it's not that problematic. Wait. Can we sucker punch kill Manaphy from this range? Defensive. Pretty sure it's defensive. Let me help that really quick. I know it's unprofessional of me to do this, but I just want to be sure. We're not. Nope. We are adamant. Level 50. Knockoff did 30 to 36. I don't think he's max. Plus two? Do I risk this? Is the question. Or do I play safe? Well, I'm gonna sub again, actually. I, I, I am gonna. I just, he, he doesn't have recovery. Now he's forced to break my sub, and we get more damage on him. And I know we're faster. Suck so Punch does more damage. I'm pretty sure he's forced to break my sub at this point, or we get a. So close to knocking it out, though. If he's max defense. It did. About what it should have done. The first time. <sighs> I'm gonna sucker punch. If he sets up the rain, he sets up the rain. Nope. That stinks. Um I'm gonna set up a swords dance. I can sub up on his face anytime I want. So that's what I'm gonna do. He might just rest to play around sucker punch at this point. I can sub up on him all the time. Install the rain right now if I wanted to. If I would have sword stance there, he would have been in a big pickle. He clicks rest. So now we he's got to break the sub now. And we're going to get a huge chunk. And we'll know if it's max max for sure. He's got to break the sub. Let's see. 50 to 59? Yeah, that's 50 to 59, boys. And since we're faster, we can keep subbing up again and again. And this is a losing battle for him, I'm pretty sure. He switched out! Ah! Gosh! 
is in such trouble now. He is in mega super duper trouble. Let's go, A-Rod. Shred those defenses right in half like you do in the NFL. Let's just sucker punch that Jolteon and knock it right out. What? Baton pass. Okay, he's trying to play around sucker punches. I should have clicked knockoff. That was the better play. Uh, but still, I was really afraid. He's going to go into Sceptile. He's got sub on this. He has substitute Sceptile. We're not falling for this at all. I'm not falling for this, Don. I won't. I will not fall for this. And if not, if the worst thing comes to worst, he doesn't have sub, we break. Uh, we, we, do, we, we pretty much knock him out. Worst thing comes to worst. Nope! Click and knock off predicting that sub. We're just going to keep clicking it. He will not. This breaks the sub for sure. Yep. This is just sub leftover SD Bisharp just is putting in the finest of work right now. Like, we have so many knockoffs left. He's going to sub. I'm not. No, I'm just going to keep clicking knockoff until you can't sub anymore. I know you have enough HP to sub four times. Uh, I have enough knockoff PP to keep doing this. And the only thing this is allowing this is doing is just getting our HP back up. That's the only thing this is doing. The fact he's not running enough speed of mana fee, I think, was just a kind of a big mistake, honestly. Oh, what is he sacking? He's just sacking mana fee? Two knock two more knockouts knock this out. Oh, this is beautiful. This is doing what I wanted it to do, but I didn't expect out speed mana fee. Oh wow, we're almost back up for full. This thing's just killer. Bye, Manaphy! Get out of here! Skarmory's just set up fodder. Metagross, I'm just gonna knock off his weakness policy, whatever. The Rocky Helmet damage. Well, actually, it'll just knock it out from that range now. This is just fun. Bisharp! Just putting on the. Just like Rogers, just. Oh my lord. I'm gonna click knock off here. I have no reason not to. Toxic? Oh, you pre I don't know why he clicked Toxic. Was that a misclick? Literally, Entages went down. I think he's playing, trying to play around Sucker Bunch. I'm clicking Knockoff! That's all I'm doing. Bisharp! Woohoo! Let's go, boys. Don is a great battler, too. Like, this, this is crazy. This is absolutely nuts. I'm pretty sure he's clicking Sucker Bunch this or uh, a move this time. Yup! Jolteon's gone. Oh my lord. Stop it, Bisharp. You, you stop it. Just please. Stop this. And now I just click knockoff in case he wants a sub. Like, we're behind a sub. This thing's already putting in the work that we needed to put in. Just, 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 be sharp. Stop. Nope. I know we can sub one more time, more than likely. This is just going very well for us. Alright, I'm going to click knockout one more time just on the off chance. Yep. I don't even know if this breaks the sub. It'll come close. Yep. Well, that's Sceptile gone. Well, that's... He's got Metagross and Skarmory left. Skarmory just kind of goes down. Will. Uh, he's got to attack us. So, Sucker Punch is the move, I'm assuming. Yep. We're going to click Sucker Punch. I don't think he'd run sub on this either. Not. 
Did Bisharp just 6 0 his team? Yep. Bisharp just 6 0 his team. I'm shocked. Like, I thought this set would do well. I didn't think this set would do this well. Like, seriously? Just stop it! Stop it! Bisharp! You crazy madman! <laughs> I'm so confused. Like, we don't. Why? Why? Bisharp just six out his team. GG, Don. Like, okay. Don't, like, let this not check you out. Let check out Don. Like, he is an amazing battler, but. That Bisharp just said I just think caught him off guard. But I don't know. Either way, fantastic game. Oh, that was that was a lot anticlimactic kind of because I thought that would be a lot more intense. It was just like back and forth, back and forth, and then Bisharp just got set up. Holy cow. Woo! That was our second 6-0 of the season, guys. Second. Bisharp just... I don't know how Bisharp did it, but Bisharp just bopped him. I knew uh, Skarmory's setup fodder. Every time Skarmory's in, we bring the Bishop and get behind a sub. I think the downfall... I think an offensive Manaphy would have done a lot better because I was worried about offensive Manaphy. I was worried about offensive threats. I think he should have just came out with hyper offense. But that's just me and Skarmory. That was... Holy shit. Thanks for watching, everyone. I love you all so very much. And if you guys could, please electrify that like button like a Zipstriker would. Zipstriker Army. My name is Jacob as always, and I am your coach of the Green Bay Pikachus, who are now 2-1 on this season with a plus 10 differential. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.